Hi, my name is Martin Corns. I'm the vicar here at Gloria Day. I wanted to put together a short video just to let you know of our current news. Paul wrote a, a letter to Timothy and he said in that letter that the Holy Spirit that God gives us does not make us timid, does not make us fearful, but gives us power and love and self-control. These are challenging times that uh, we are going through, but our hope is in Christ and our trust is in him and in the cross. And we want to share some of that hope with you and share some of that hope with people in our neighborhoods around about us. So uh, as I start, uh, I put together uh, a card. Of course, yours will be slightly smaller than this. And I uh, encourage you to take some of these and put them into your neighborhood, into the places around about you. And just let people know that uh, if they've got any needs, that you're there, that you can be thinking of them and you can be praying for them. Uh, these will be available. Uh, they're either emailed out on the website or they uh, can be picked up here at the church in the office. You may yourself be uh, maybe in need of uh, prayer or uh, financial uh, situations, maybe just loneliness as well. well. We here at the church want to uh, be there with you, walking through you uh, with that. And. Uh, on that, we have got some prayer cards that we use here at the church, and uh, you don't have to fill one of these in. You can be uh, just sending us your prayer requests, phone them in, leave them on the, uh, the answer phone, and uh, then we'd love to be praying with you uh, and for you as well about your prayer concerns. So this is some of the information that you might need. Uh, there is the office phone number there and you can get these uh, off the bulletin, other places as well. There is the email to contact us there at Gloria Day. At the bottom there, there is the website, gloriadaylcms.org and the Facebook there, Gloria Day Lutheran Church. Have a look up at those and uh, those are great ways to contact us if you need to. Now this of course is the sanctuary here at Gloria Day and uh, we're sorry to say that over the next few weeks we're not going to be meeting here together as a church but there are lots of other ways in which we can gather together if you like using the technology that we have been given. What I'm going to be doing each week as I normally do is to be recording my sermon and uh, we're going to put that out on Facebook, on the website as well for you. I'm also going to record some prayers, uh, maybe some prayers that you've sent in as well, and some other parts of the service, the confession and absolution uh, as well. So in a sense, we can be joining in with church together. I'll also be scripting out my sermon so that you can have a hard copy of it if uh, you prefer that. And so, We'll still have the bulletins available. We'll still have copies of the sermon. We'll still have the other news that we give out here at Gloria Day. Uh, we will mail those out to people. We'll email them out. They'll be available on Facebook and the website as well. So please get in contact with us, especially if we don't have a current email address, so we can make sure that you are kept in contact with us here at Gloria Day. The office will still be open from Tuesday to Thursday, nine till two. So please come in. And then on Sundays, I will be here between 10 and 11. If you uh, are needing prayer about something, you want to come in and maybe you want to come and pick up uh, the bulletins, the other information, uh, there will be people here available for you. Please also don't forget to keep dropping off your uh, giving envelopes as well. You can mail those in. You can even give them the, the website. There's a, a page that says give at the top and you can go on there and give that way as well. And I'm going to be looking forward to contacting you in different ways as well. I'm going to be going through the membership list and calling up everybody on that as I go through it. And I look forward to speaking to you as well. We're going to be sending cards to all our shut-ins, just reassuring them of our love 
and our prayers at this time as well. And some of you receive the bulletins and the newsletter by mail as well. You'll still receive those. In Romans, Romans 15, there is a wonderful blessing there that uh, Paul gives. And it's on this card that I often mail out as well. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you, each one of you, with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Overflow with hope, even in these challenging times. And so, as we come before God in his, his house, will you pray with me? Father God, thank you for bringing us here. Thank you, Lord God, for Gloria Day. Thank you, Lord God, that we have this opportunity to meet together as a church, even if we're not sitting in the pews, but meeting in other ways, Father God. I pray for your presence with all those who are watching this, that you may give them that hope, that peace, that presence at this time. Lord God, we pray also for our leadership, and those in medical professions, protect them, give them your strength, give them wise decisions. And Lord God, we pray again that we may know your peace and your hope that is in Jesus Christ and in the cross. And may the blessing of God the Father, of God the Son, of God the Holy Spirit be with each one of us, those we love and pray for, now and always. Amen.